there, Araminta from the Quickly team. In this video, we will be exploring the span format, allowing you to style text content differently from the rest. But first, what is the span tag and what is it used for? Simply put, the HTML span tag is a container used to group inline elements together, which are elements that only take up as much width as is necessary. Usually, the span tag is used to wrap sections of text for styling purposes. In Quickly, we have implemented this span tag to allow you to style parts of content for all rich text blocks, which means text that supports formatting, such as bold, italics, underlining, capitalizing, on top of different fonts, font sizes, and colored text. The way in which it works in Quickly is you add the span tag to the desired selected content, which adds a predefined or custom class which is added to a relative style that you can then style from the relative styling editor. You can also add global classes with global styles. The great thing is quickly handles the rules for the relative styling without limiting your designing control, which simplifies and quickens your workflow. Let's now play around with the span format. Here we are in the Gutenberg editor. As you can see, I've already added a section block containing a heading block. Of course, we could have also used a paragraph block. Let's say that we want quickly to look different from the rest of our heading's text content, for it to stand out better and look more original. To do so, we can simply highlight the word quickly. In the toolbar menu, we can select the drop-down arrow and select Span. As you can see, it creates a class automatically which we can rename if we like. I always like to rename class names to make editing easier in the future, so let's add a familiar name such as text style. Our relative style is automatically added by Quickly. All we need to do is style it. So let's simply select the span text styling relative style. Here we are in the relative styling editor. As you can see, we can style this text in a very simple or complex way according to our needs and preferences since we have access to all these different properties. We can add a blue background color in the background panel. In the typography panel, we can set a white text color and capitalize it. In the margin and padding panel, we can set an equal 15 pixel padding for a nicer polished look. We could also add a darker blue border color. For whatever reason, you may want to add a hover effect, which you can totally do. Let's first set a transition duration in the effects panel and set a 0.5 second duration. Switching to hover mode, we can set a white background color and blue text color. Switching back to normal mode, when we hover, we can see that it works as intended. We can also set transform properties, but we can remember that, as mentioned previously, the span tag is an inline element. However, as a well-known rule, the transform property doesn't apply to inline elements. So we can simply remedy to this by setting a block or inline block display. Let's do this by heading to the layout panel and setting an inline block display. In this example, we will make our content rotate when we hover on it. So let's switch to hover mode and open the transforms panel and toggle the rotate property and rotate it by 180 degrees. You can also add the same class to any other content for it to have the same style, which is great for workflow. So let's highlight this and add the span format. We can type in our previous span's class name, text style. As you can see, it seamlessly picks up the style. In the relative styling editor, if we tweak anything like the background color, our quickly content also gets affected by the change. Now we can move on to using global classes for span formats. So let's head to the quickly global style sheet and add a new global class which in our case we will name Chameleon. 
In the background, we can set a bright green background color so that we can later on recognize that our class is being applied. In the typography panel, let's set a 15 pixel font size and set the italic property. Now let's select this again, highlight it and select the span format. Let's remove the previous span format and add our new one by typing in our global class's name, Chameleon, and select Create. As you can see, I can now control my span format style from the global classes editor. Of course, you can still edit from the relative styling editor that the span format adds automatically, which naturally will only affect the block on which the modifications are applied to, which is handy if you want the same style as a globally set class, but you want to make it slightly different for whatever reason. We can illustrate this by adding a new paragraph block and add a span format with our global class's name. Let's now select the relative style. As you can see, we can slightly tweak the style of the span format, which naturally doesn't affect our previously added global span formats. Using global classes for span formats is essential if you plan to have a span format style throughout our website design, as well as making editing span format styles effortless and quick, since you can target them all from one same editor. And there you have it. You know how to apply a span format and style it to your desires. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful in understanding how and what the span tag is and how quickly it makes it available for you to style effortlessly. If you have any questions or doubts, please don't hesitate to let us know down below. See you next time. Bye.